Hi YouTube again. I know I just did one of these yesterday, but here's the thing. I have insomnia and what do I do when I have insomnia? I do video updates, so bear with me. Um, I think I'm just going to ramble, so um, I don't know. This is a very scattered video blog, but yeah. So what did I do today? Well, I didn't really sleep in because I forgot to turn the ringer off on my phone. Well, I forgot to turn the the vibrator the vibrate off so basically I was getting every notification coming through on my phone from the East Coast so basically when it's like 8 o'clock on the East Coast and it's 5 o'clock here in the morning I start getting like Facebook notifications and I start getting text messages and I start getting emails and every single thing comes through on my phone and usually I turn it I can turn off the notifications and just keep the ringer on in case someone needs to call me for something really important but no I got woken up at 5 in the morning. And then the only really important text that came through came through at 8. And I had been up for like 3 hours. So it was kind of ridiculous. But it's okay. It's fine. And then I drove to see Allie one last time. Allie is my friend who came to Phoenix because her mom is graduating from Grand Canyon University. Which is here in Phoenix. Well, it's here in Arizona. But I don't, I don't know where it is. But anyway, she was staying in Phoenix, and so she came, and we had a good, fun weekend hanging out. Um, and I got to show her my favorite parts of Phoenix, which is always good for people that visit to see my favorite parts of Phoenix. I love my city, and it's, you know, it was so fun to show everyone around, or to show Allie around. And so I went to say goodbye to her, and then after that, I went back, came back here to my apartment hung out and then I went to work and I worked from 2 to 6 and then I came back here and did laundry I did laundry so I really I really was a little productive I did do laundry and I really needed to do laundry and I hope that that is the last time I have to pay in quarters to do my laundry I still, like, this is, like, my best friend, like, the quarter roll, because laundry sucks your money out of you. Um, luckily, my mom is a bank teller back home, so every time I went home to visit, she hooks me up with rolls of quarters. And when I don't go home for a long time, she send me a roll of quarters. So she's kind of a lifesaver in that respect, because she has, you know, access. She can just, you know, write a check for $10 to get me a roll of quarters. So it's kind of nice of my mom to do that for me, um, but hopefully she won't have to anymore. <laughs> I'm looking forward to living in a house where I just have a washer and dryer and I don't have to put money in. And hopefully the dryer works better at the house than the dryer in my apartment because the dryer in my apartment has never once dried my clothes all the way. Usually I have to hang them outside because the dry desert air just dries them like that. So. Um, yeah, praise Jesus, that was the last time I have to do laundry in my apartment. Because I'm moving in a week and a half. Oh my goodness, I can't believe the year is ending. How is this year ending? How am I going to be a junior in college? I have no idea. I'm like really nervous <laughs> because, oh my god, real life is going to be starting soon. Like, real real life I mean I'm kind of living real life already because I have two jobs and I'm busy and I'm not like just hanging out and like totally not doing anything like with myself but you know like real real life like not school like no grades like just working and making a salary is starting soon holy crap <laughs> I was so nervous but like excited at the same time you know doing air traffic control is going to be amazing and and I'm so ready to start with the career and, and get get into it. Um, wow, I am shedding like crazy. Crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to get into my career because then I should really just go and do it. And wow, I'm so shedding. I can't even believe this. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited and, uh, and nervous at the same time. Like, oh my goodness, I am next... Tuesday, I am, shoot, eight months away from being 21. Eight months. 
Oh goodness. Oh snap. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to be 21. But then after 21, I have no age to look forward to whatsoever. <laughs> Except over the first hill, second hill, big hill. And then 65 is when I get an AARP letter or something. I don't know. <laughs> I've heard all of this from, like, my dad, who's, like, crazy. Um, so don't listen to me. All I know is I'm ready to be 21. <laughs> so I'm excited. By the way, everyone's invited to my 21st birthday in L.A. Because I told my dad all I want... <laughs> for my 21st birthday is his blessing for me to go party in LA and he said okay done so I'm excited about it and um yeah everyone's invited anyone that wants to come party in Hollywood feel free I'm excited um but yeah for now I'm still 20 and it's sad it really is I was excited to be 20 and then that lasted for like a week and then it's just like, okay, I'm done being 20. When do I get to be 21? <laughs> so I'm close. I'm very close. But, it, you know, it doesn't really matter. I still have a lot of living left to do in this year. So. But, um, yeah. I'm, I don't know, excited that I turned 21 at the turn of the new decade. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, see, I told you I was going to be rambling, right? Right, yeah. So, um, I have a lot of studying to do for finals. I have a big paper to write. I have a PowerPoint to do. I think I'm going to get that done tomorrow. Should be easy like that. Very easy. And, yeah, the paper, not as easy. However, I have eked out a, like, A plus papers the night before they were due. 10 page, 6, 8, 10 page papers. I'm a good writer. It's 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 definitely a strong point for me. So I could feasibly procrastinate on a 10 page paper until the night before and get an A on it. That's just like one of my things that I'm good at. Um, so, you know, I'm going to start it before it's like, you know, a few days before it's due. But basically I wouldn't have to. I pride myself in that. Me and procrastination were like P, B, and J. So, but yeah. Um, I'm nervous about summer, but I'm like, I'm not. I don't know. I'm nervous because it's like my first summer away from home. And it's it's like, it's the next step. It's the next step. And, and I'm so excited to spend it in Arizona. I love this state. Everyone knows I love this state. But I'm still nervous because... It's like a new chapter in my life, moving, living here, like, for realsies. For realsies. That's my favorite word, by the way. Am I 20 or 2? Because sometimes I think I'm more like a 2-year-old. Um, but honestly, like, my motto is you're never going to survive unless you get a little crazy. So sometimes you should be a little silly, you know, to get through craziness of life, I think. Sometimes you have to be immature. You can't be mature all the time. You know, sometimes you have to just let loose. And that's what I do. That's, like, the philosophy I live by. And I don't have any regrets. I have no regrets. That's what I've realized in the last few months is I may have made some stupid choices. And I may have done some things to get me in trouble. But I have no regrets. And I don't regret any of the decisions that I've made in my life because I've learned from all of them. And I'm the happiest I've ever been. So, I mean, I must have done something right even through the things I did wrong. And that's kind of my philosophy. I mean, yeah, would I take back maybe some of the some of the things I've said to people, some of the choices that I've made, if I could? Probably. Probably. But in the grand scheme of things, the major things that I've done, the choices that I've made, it's like I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't go back and change it because I am where I am, and I... I'm not in a bad position, so I don't think I did something, anything horribly wrong. So that's kind of how I'm living my life. And uh, I'm proud of it, so we'll just see what happens from here on out. <laughs> All right, well, I'm almost done with this. I'm going to go watch a movie or something or watch YouTube, of course. And I hope that you all have a really great night. Bye, guys.